Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, if you have been following Bitcoin uh, and its rise recently, man, that sucker's been on fire, hitting about $47,000 a coin just recently. And that, of course, the reason behind that is because of the applications for ETFs that hold the actual coin as opposed to futures ETFs like BITO, B-I-T-O. So those applications needed to be in, uh, what is it, today or tomorrow? The deadline is drawing near and a decision on at least the approval of one will likely be soon. So that has driven up the share prices of other stocks that are involved in the crypto space. One of those stocks is Mara. So take a look at this chart of Mara. As you can see, we started having a pretty serious climb starting about the middle of November, topping out here on December 27th. And then we've been in sort of a very volatile uh, triangle shaped pattern since then. Now, this begs the question, will this hold, right? Will Mara's stock uh, hold above, say, around $20 a share here, or will it pull back? Now, one of the things with this is Mara has a little over 20% of its float being shorted. And part of this has been a big short squeeze, uh, which really continues to beg the question of will it hold? Because a lot of times when we see these short squeezes, they take off and then kind of just drift back down. Well, there's at least one person one trader who believes that it will hold. And if you look here, this is a credit spread genius um, trade that came out earlier today. Somebody sold a thousand of the January, the regular January expiration, 2024 put spreads at a dollar 36. This person stands to make, well, a lot of money, uh, $136,000 if Mara stays above $24 a share and is trading above $24 a share on regular January expiration, which is, uh, I think that's the week after next. So this is a pretty big bet that might give you some idea as to what some of the big traders are thinking about uh, cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin. One of the key reasons why Bitcoin rallied, it's not just um, rallying in sympathy with the fact that these ETFs may get done, but the fund managers of the ETFs will have to buy Bitcoin. And so that creates a very, very natural demand. All right. That said, I hope that helps. It's definitely something to think about. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.